This is the 2017 Stoller Family Estate Reserve Chardonnay. Um, this is one of my favorite wines to make, um, mainly because I love the Chardonnay that, that we get off this property. Um, it really t speaks to um, and basically tells the story of the property and the vintage and what is so compelling about 2017, it was a little bit cooler than it has been. Um, so it, to me, it was more reminiscent of a classic Oregon vintage. So we had a lot of um, bright acidity. Um, we also had cooler nights um, where we could rely on letting the fruit hang out just a little bit longer to have some of that flavor development. Um, what I love about the Chardonnay off this property in particular is that it does show a lot of white floral aspects, some minerality that we get. Um, and because of the volcanic soils, some, it retains some of that acidity. But because we're on the southernmost tip of the Dundee Hills, um, we tend to be a warmer site. And because of that, we only put this wine through partial malactic fermentation. So because of um, that process, which is the process of converting malic acid to, um, or, uh, to malic acid to lactic acid, um, we get an interplay of three different acids in this wine. So it's an interplay of tartaric, malic, and lactic. And I think the combination of those three acids um, create a really interesting um, palette and um, succulence to this wine. Um, this wine is native ferment and spends um, 12 months in barrel through its primary ferment um, into elevage. Um, after that point, it's taken out of barrel and put in stainless steel for another six months before it goes to um, bottle. So allowing the wine to come together and marry before it goes to bottle is a really important process and I think completes the wine. Um, what I love about the 2017 vintage is Again, those white floral aspects, um, the beauty of the acidity um, with just like a hint of new oak, which is about 20% new.